Okay, we are going to start with our syrup for our granola in the saucepan, and we're going to start with it so that it can simmer while we mix our dry ingredients together. Now, the recipe calls for a fourth of a cup of maple syrup, but I'm going to use honey because maple syrup is very expensive. And I have this bottle of real maple extract. It's not imitation flavoring. I bought it through a Whole Foods co-op, and it's going to last me forever. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of this at the very end. It'll give me the maple flavoring. But I still have plenty of nutrition from the honey. And maple syrup, if you can get it at a good price, it is very high in nutrition also. But first we're going to measure our oil. We need three tablespoons of oil. And I'm going to pour it right into our fourth of a cup measure so that um, it will grease the cup and let that honey slide right out. You pour it real carefully into the saucepan. Okay, now hold the cup right over the pan, and we will measure our honey. That's a lot of honey. Mmm, that makes it sweet. Okay, now pour it into the pan. See how it comes right out because we greased it up? Mm-hmm. Okay, and to speed it up, we can get the last bit of goodie out. Yum. Yum. Okay, now we need one tablespoon of water. Can you get that over here? Turn it on to medium heat and just kind of let that cook together. We should, you're right, we need to wipe that up so it doesn't catch on fire. All right, now we're going to come over here. We're going to mix our dry ingredients together. Now the main ingredient in granola is rolled oats. And so we're going to put in two cups of rolled oats. Can Don't you? Don't let that burn. It won't burn. This is this is a heat-proof spatula. Okay. Can you scoop up two full cups? Let me show you with the first one. You want it to be level across the top. Okay. okay. Do one more. sugar, you have to pack it in to get an accurate measure. So I'm going to use my hand to kind of pack that in. And then you do the next one. Okay. Got it? Good, that's good. Okay. I love sugar. <laughs> I like it too. Okay, and just dust your hands over the bowl. Get all that sugar in there. Okay, now we need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and salt gives extra flavor that helps us not need so much sugar. Good. And we're going to do one cup of extra ingredients. And we've got some choices here. This is a fun one. It's just Rice Krispie cereal. I love it. Yeah, and it'll give us a nice crunch. A lot of commercial granolas have this in here. So hold the cup. Is here you could put in nuts. Do you like nuts? We have some cracked wheat that gives it a nice crunch. Or we could have put in some sunflower seeds as a nice inexpensive seed that's full of nutrition and also gives us a nice crunch like a nut. Okay, now I'm going to have you stir that all up. You can see that our syrup mixture has Heat it up and turn into a liquid, and I want that to come to a slow boil. That's really going to incorporate the oil and the honey together well. Now I'm going to turn this off and add my teaspoon of maple flavoring when it's off the heat. So we don't want that heat to destroy the flavor. This is glycerin based. They have some that are alcohol based too. You just have to read the label and see what your preference is. 
Okay, Heather, you ready? This is pretty yeah. hot, so I want you to be careful. I'm going to switch you spoons, and I'm going to drizzle in the syrup. I want you to stir it around. Stir, 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 stir. Okay, that's pretty mixed well, and we're going to then put it into a greased cookie sheet. Put it in the oven at 250 for 15 minutes, and then I'm going to stir it and cook it for another 15 minutes. I'm going to make it a nice thin layer because that helps it get crunchy. While that's baking, we're going to clean up. Yay. After about 11 minutes, I started smelling the granola cooking, so I thought I'd go ahead and pull it out now and give it a little bit of a stir and then put it back in. I'm going to set the timer for 11 minutes again because um, I don't want to burn this and get it overdone and the high sugar content in here makes it likely for it to burn. I do want to cook it long enough that it gets really crisp though. So I've stirred it up really good and now I'm spreading it out into a new layer. We'll put it back in for 11 minutes more. So we're going to pull the granola out. give it another stir. It doesn't have quite as much color as I'd like, so I'm going to put it back in to cook a little bit longer. Stirring this helps it to cook evenly and to not get burnt in any one area. My granola is completely cooled now, and I'm stirring in a half a cup of dried berries just for an extra special touch. I like to add my dried fruit at the very end because that way um, it doesn't get dried out even more and hard. It still stays soft and chewy. Okay, that's mixed in pretty good. Then I'm going to use my same big bowl that we washed up from before, and I'm going to add my cornflake cereal and pour the granola, homemade granola, in on top. And then I'll add the whole thing into an airtight container and we'll keep it fresh. Now would you like to have some of that for your breakfast? 